Hi guys, Frost Fangs here and welcome back once again, of course, to another Paladins video. We're going to be playing some ROM today, but not just any regular old ROM. We're going to be playing Subservience ROM or Support ROM, whatever you want to call it. Something that isn't what you would typically see in a game. I had a bit of a tough decision on whether I wanted to do an IO video today because I've been wanting to do one for a little while. I did cover her changes on the PTS though, so I'm going to push that one a little bit further back. Maybe when the patch goes live, I'll do it. I basically want to do Flying IO again. I did it right when she was released, like a year ago, but I want to revisit that and make another video on it. So instead of covering IO because I did technically make a video on her recently and she is also getting some pretty big changes that don't necessarily even affect the setup but still I'd like to show it off when they're actually in place. We're going to do ROM and we're going to do them based around a healing setup. Sadly there aren't really any cards that buff out subservience in any sort of meaningful way. I think Triumphant Ascension might slightly buff it out but I don't even know if that does move over to subservience because Shadow Essence doesn't. I did actually try that out in the target practice just now to make sure that it didn't and as far as I can tell Shadow Essence doesn't give you any benefit so I don't know really why this one would. So for the setup it doesn't really matter what we go for because none of these cards really play into it all that much i'm going to just go for one of my two different standard ones depending on the situation we have this one which i've shown off before and the other one i've also made a video on i don't think i've really changed them all that much since i last made a video so i'm going to go through them really really quickly then we'll jump into some games overall subservience rhyme is in a bit of a weird spot i think it could definitely do with some form of buff but maybe they just want to change it entirely because it is a bit of a weird thing to balance yeah anyway we have damage reduction on the q for three seconds tiny bit of extra health reset on the dash with the q a little bit of extra distance on the dash and then a little bit of self heal with the soft fragment stuff because this way it doesn't just give us armor it also gives us a 100 heal which also passes over to the q i've actually talked about this before but a lot of people don't even know how it works basically you get 200 armor for every soul you pick up and also 2k instantly when you pop the q and if you go for that card level 5 it only does add 100 as a heal to the soul armor thing but when you pop your q it'll also give you a 1000 heal because it just times it by 10 so that's kind of an interesting nice benefit to this card which is something that i don't think everybody knows and they kind of should and for the other setup it's very very similar we just have a little bit of extra distance on the f and a few other cards kind of moved around and then we don't have shattered essence in there because it isn't necessarily a thing that you want to go for all the time it works really well if you're up against other tanks and stuff but if you're against a full team of squishies or a bigger map you'll be better off probably going for this siege fish market a bit of a rough map for rom although i guess if i go for the extra distance we might be fine we're obviously going to be grabbing subservience so we won't have the damage reduction seems like for the final team we've got an andrew a victor a fury and a torvald to come up with this which is kind of nice frost needs speed i can do it shout outs to zzz pain zzz nerf emoji when does emoji really need a nerf didn't she just get nerfed this patch or the upcoming patch we're up against a Ceres, a Knesset, a Corvus, a Khan and a Buck so pretty similar teams we don't have a sniper which might be kind of rough especially considering we don't have any way to actually block the Knesset's shots there me and Torvald are just kind of free damage or free hits onto his shield but yeah we'll go ahead and grab subservience and then the extra distance setup and I guess we'll start off with Kronos I feel like that's a bad idea but I'm going to go for it anyway four talents we've got Curse Revolver, Cherish, Direct Current it's kind of interesting Burst Mode, Reposition, Storm of Bullets, Dark Gift, and Snare and then World Reach sure go ahead and pop the F I don't have damage reduction I knew he was going to grab me somehow he threw me over the thing though i don't know if i've ever seen that happen before how do you throw me so far i guess i'm just gonna keep applying pressure to the con and hold in the point i don't know really how we're able to hold this one so much but they've not really been doing a great job of pushing up on it there goes the con seems like we're doing a pretty good job of holding this one just applying some damage to the sarah she is nearly gone but she's gone into her invis as a dismount for the con and there's the objective captured well done team i don't know where the series effects are coming from they're kind of bugged but that is the one nil feel like i'm doing pretty decent so far i'm playing very aggressively as wrong because i feel like i kind of need to with this team that's the speed buff from the torvald that sound effect is weird Weirdly loud. I'm actually going to pop the F and reposition and kind of help the Torvald who's getting jumped by the buck. There we go. And he is gone. Nice. Well done. That sound effect is really not as leveled as it should be. <laughs> Whatever reason, Torvald's sound effect with that skin is way louder than it should be. That Knesset is really low. I think she was being silenced there. He's going for the grab. I'm going to try and use my F to get back on the map. Am I going to be able to land it? Holy shit. I actually just got back on. I'm going to drop a high in the chat. We actually landed. Let's go ahead and pop the ult. Yeah, sure. He's going to obviously just Q to immune it, but we did also stun the Corvus there in the back. I don't know why they're all running into that little corner. Fury is going for. Deal. I guess that's why it's just continuously pound him. There we go. That's Buck gone. We'll pop the right click for the ammo. There goes the con, and that is going to be the 2 0 at like three minutes. Well done, team. There's a little extra thousand and a bit damage for me. There we go. To be honest, I'm kind of surprised we were able to make it back on. I remember doing that at least one other time in a video and not being able to make it back, but we're 2 0. The freaking match has just started. We were doing a surprisingly good job of just continuously pressuring them and keeping them away from the point. I did go for Kronos, which when I think about it is kind of a bad idea. I'm expecting the con to grab me, but there we go. Just uses F. I'm kind of surprised that actually connected, but all right, sure. Sure, thank you Fury for the heal. We're going to pop the right click for the ammo immunity and just get some more shots in there to heal myself up. There we go. I'm actually still alive. I'm actually looking pretty good. I'm on 3k health. We're going to pop the F now. Kind of run away a little bit. I hit a couple of them there. We're back up to pretty much full health. We just don't have our armor. Pretty sure I've said it before, but Prime is one of my more favorite characters to play just because he is kind of easy to do well with casually if you're just running around and leaving a mess. But there we go. There goes Nessa. We kind of flanked her there. There's a dismount for the Knessa. There's no way they're getting back on this one. It's going to be a 3 0 for sure. I thought they were going to get it because of a recovery mechanic because it did take us a while, but I didn't even get 
get cleared. So we're doing fine. There's the Q. There's a bunch of souls. He's going to go ahead and grab me. I did place myself to try and purposely get hit. We should be able to get back on kind of easily over here, though. Yeah, there we go. Easy. 3 0, 5 minutes 40. Nice. It's the second time I've got back on after that Khan's tried to throw me off. He's going to have to shoot me directly downwards if he wants me to not get back on. Because when he throws me, he's throwing me like really high up. So I have tons of time to use my F to travel back. So I'd rather he gets rid of me than somebody like Torvald who has no chance of getting back on. There's a hit. There's a hit. There's a hit again. Let's go ahead and do another lap. Yep, yeah, sure. There we go. There's some shots for the Corvus. There's the Q. I'm probably dead here. Oh, yeah, totally. I think he's actually going to throw me off with the F. Fair enough. I was dead anyway, so I don't feel too bad about that one. But technically, he has now at least thrown me off for the map once. That's my only death as well. Like, I'm just taking a bunch of free damage here. There's some little cheeky shots for the Buck. He's getting healed by the Ceres, although she did need to get cleared there. Well done, team. Let's pop the F and I guess run in because it is 4v5. There is a double hit. We'll do a bit of an instant turn. Nice. He's going to dash over there. It's very tempted to go for the ult here. I'm just trying to get Ceres to use her escape, but maybe she's not going to. Oh, there we go. It took a little while. Canessa is gone. We can now pop the F, leave the Khan in the corner, chase her. Tried to chase the Ceres, but I missed the goddamn dash and she got healed by Corvus. I'm still very tempted to go for the ult, but it's a bad idea. We'll retreat. There's no need for me to push up this hard. <laughs> Seems like he's got the effect kind of bugged on his head there. There's the F, like three people. Nice. We got rid of two of them. I say we. That was kind of just the Andro there, judging from the kill feed. Torvald's going for the ult on the side. Don't know if he's going to be able to throw anybody off. Canessa is at the back, just landing three shots on me. I'm just kind of pressuring her here to make sure she can't do it for too long. That is the Khan going for the grab, but obviously he's not defending. That is not going to let me get back on, but there is the overtime. I'm kind of surprised we didn't push it there in the time it took him to throw me. Sadly, it seems like we weren't able to get it, which is a bit of a shame. Finished off our Chronos. Also got a bit of resilience, and now I'm thinking that that might be a bit of a bad idea, because it might mean he doesn't throw me as high, which means I won't get enough time to actually get back on with the F, but I guess we'll see. Maybe I should finish off resilience, and then maybe it'll help. I'm not sure. I definitely should have got some cauterized going, though. It's whatever. I don't feel like I'm doing a great job with subservience, although I am playing kind of solo. It is fish market, so it is actually kind of hard to play with the team. Just trying to stay a bit out of grab range from the Khan. I popped the F, can I pop the ult, which is why I'm running away or kind of running in, I guess. She's just there. Oh, she's really low. I guess I was able to stand on here just in time. That's the overtime. Going to pop the ult to hit him with it. There we go. He went ahead and used his Q, so that's his immunity down. That is a bunch of people firing into me. There goes the Ceres, so he's not getting any heals. There's a stun from Ophelia. That's a double. There is the Q for the massive self-heal. More hits onto the Buck. Guess I might as well push up with the F, because they're kind of holding it. This is definitely a bad idea, but I guess I'm kind of distracting them. I'm 100% dead. Did not realize I'd be able to go through my health so quick. Not so much for that. That is the 3-2. I'm kind of surprised the team didn't jump on it there, because we would have obviously won the game if we got the cap and there were four of them up. I pushed up too aggressively for sure and probably actually lost that round when I think about it, but I guess let's see if we can turn it into a 4-2 that's calm with the grab. There's no way I'm getting back on there. Even if my F was up, I just went into the abyss, I suppose, back to where I came from. Kind of funny when I think about it. I've got four deaths and I think like three of them are from me just being thrown off the map. One of them was with his F and the other two I think were with the ult. But there goes the buck. Get some shots into the con. Might as well just continue to fire through that shield. Ceres is on like two health. I'm just going to push up a little bit here. Oh my god, I missed the goddamn hit. I don't think I would have killed her anyway. There's another 600 for a Corvus is really, really low. So is that Ceres. So I'm just trying to finish her off. Thank you, Torvald, for the speed buff. She's going for the ult. We did kill the buck, though. Really hope they rebalance the sound for the Torvald cube because it's stupidly loud. It's kind of stopping me from being able to think. I don't know why it's balanced so much louder than every other in game sound. Khan's trying to get back on. Corvus is back here. Knessa is also pushing up. We'll pop the right click for the ammo. We know she doesn't have her escape, so she is gone. Probably should have used my Q a bit earlier to save the victor, but I think we're going to get the defense here anyway. I did actually just tap that Ceres a little bit. There's the right click again for the ammo. She's gone. To be honest, the Torvald with the silence has been really, really clutch. I was kind of surprised he went for direct current, but it's actually been working surprisingly well. We'll go ahead and get a little bit more cauterized. I definitely should have had it finished already. Next Khan going for the grab. I'm going to try and pop the F to get back on, but of course I am dead. I guess I should go to the left to stop him from doing that, but then he just grabs somebody else as a hit for him. He's going for the grab. Sure, there is my Q. Just going to get more shots in him. Corvus is going for the ult. Corvus went for the ult, but this Khan should be dead here any second. His shield is gone. He's on two health. Okay, Andrew finished him off. Buck was behind me, but I wanted to try and make sure the Khan got cleared. They are actually capping the objective, though, still. That is the overtime trigger, and there's the objective lost. Not really much point in me running on there to just get myself a free death. I'm in a really crappy spot. There is the Q he's going to teleport in, but we're actually still alive. I'm going to pop the F and just run away. The Knesset jumped up there. And hello, Khan. Just going to stay far away from that edge so he can't get a free one on me. I don't know how he managed to wiggle to the left, although he did get the Corvus off. He did try and use his F there, but still kind of went flying. More shots on the Khan. He's gone. Fury is going for the ult kind of late. Cyrus was behind there. She's gone. Let's chase the buck, I guess. There's a 600 for him. He should be dead here, right? Okay, there we go. There's a Q for a bit of a heal. Knesset at the back is a pain in the ass. There's some more little shots for the Corvus and the Khan. Just trying to make sure she can't get free damage on me. He's going for the grab, but that's fine. We're not going off the map. I guess my resilience kind of counters that play a little bit, but there goes the Ceres. is going to be another team wipe for us. Well done, team. The point is still where it started, so I guess it isn't going to be a 3-4, but that is Buck gone. Just trying to deal some damage to the Nessa, but I'm dealing basically nothing at this sort of range because I'm barely landing any of the hits. More shots on the Khan. The science came through pretty clutch. I
be nice to increase it maybe like 10, 20, maybe even 30% with like a card or something. Seems like they're going for the push. There goes the Ceres as a hit on the buck. He should be gone here as well. There's a Q for a big heal. I'm not going to use my ult. going to try and save it here for the last round. They're not even really jumping on the objective. More shots for the Nessa, but there is the defense successful. This is going to be the final round. We do all have ults up. Fear is like 2% off and the rest of us have it instantly ready. She'll probably have it ready by the time she runs in. I finished off uh, Cauterize just about with like 20 extra credits and let's go into, I guess, the end of the game. This is going to be like a 20 minute match. Definitely wasn't expecting this one to be like a 20 minute game. He ran to the back and went for the ult. Corvus went for the ult to counter it. I guess we can try and make sure that he gets cleared here, get as many shots into him as we can. There we go. He's actually out. More shots onto the Khan. Fury went for the ult there as well. That's a stun attempt from the Fury, but Buck is still out. There goes the Nessa as well. Well done, Anjo. There goes the Khan. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. That was over in like a second. We've got a full team wipe there. Well done, team. I think they're actually out of range, so I can't even dismount them. What am I doing? I'm just going to sit up here and try and zone them because as soon as they're on the hill, I can deal damage. He's still mounted up, and there is the 4 3. I don't know how we managed to get it to 3 3 and then so heavily win that last round. I don't know if the team was doing that on purpose, but yeah, what a game. Kind of surprised it went so long. But anyway, there we go. There are the stats for game one. Fury did pretty good. The Torvald did pretty decent. ADK shields. We did pretty damn well there as well. 121k damage. 10k heals is kind of ass considering the point of the video is trying to be like a support as Ram. But for sure, this is just one of the talents that you're never really going to see crazy healing numbers with because it's not like some of the other ones like Sky where you can play a kind of as a support and do really well with. It's just kind of crappy as a talent and really could do with a buff or a change. And in the current state, it's in, you're not really going to get like 100k heals or anything even close. Unless I guess you end up playing like a 40 minute game with tanks who are constantly kind of close together so you can get a ton of healing numbers and stuff and the team doesn't get cauterized. You know, I guess in a very, very small selection of matches, like one out of a thousand, this will be a really good choice. But I reckon 95% of the time, you're better off going for a different talent than subservience, at least in my opinion. The Victor did really well though, and so did the Andro. Shouts to the team. Then for their side, the Khan did pretty good, Buck not so much. The Corvus did pretty decent though, so did the Ceres and definitely the Canessa there. Overall, I think they had a pretty solid team with the buck maybe being a little bit under there i feel like i haven't even been talking that much today but for whatever reason my voice is already completely shredded as you may or may not be able to tell depending on i guess how much you watch my stuff but right now it is super painful to talk but i'm going to continue the video anyway because screw it i want to play subservience ram and hopefully show it off a little bit better than we did there in game one because it really didn't do all that well there but i do think it could really do with a buff and i think evil mojo also probably knows that it could do with a buff because i barely ever see it used in game and when it is used in game it's not really used very well so i think it could do with a buff on the talent level but also it could really do with some supporting cards because none of these cards really help it out at all i really think sky is a great example of turning a character who isn't a support into a support because she has a talent that kind of enables the entire thing and then a bunch of cards that massively buff it out as well so when you want to go for it you can't play sky normally and deal a bunch of damage and also heal for a turn you kind of have to do that trade-off of oh i'm not going to be dealing as much damage but i'm going to be helping the team in a different way but then obviously when you take into consideration ram's kit and the other things he has available to him it is really really tough to make it so that he's not just going to be a character in the middle of the game the entire time who has full health and is also healing everybody else so i kind of understand why they haven't changed anything just yet but hopefully they do sometime soon i don't know you guys let me know in the comments if you'd like to see support ram as a viable option because i certainly would because this is support ram kind of now but it's kind of crappy <laughs> but on so much it's archives as the map for game two shout outs to errol 435 he's on victor we also have a pip a corpus and a bk then for their side we're up against a level 360s in which is kind of mad a strix a level 114 koga a corvus and a general so i'm a little bit worried there because general can buff their damage and they have Corvus as like another healer and a bunch of people who can deal really good quick burst but anyway we'll go ahead and grab subservience I'm not really sure which setup to go for they don't really have anybody who can get us out of our F other than the Genos and I don't know how much attention he's going to be paying to me so maybe I should go for the distance I don't know I feel like this is probably a safer bet overall burst mode combat medic spreading influence and raw subjects then for their side Yomi Luminary stunning visage adrenaline junkie and nocturnal so probably a better decision to go for this setup because the Corvus can also stun me out of it I'm just going to go ahead and stand here in the middle Strix is there at the back I feel like I should push up on him, but I don't really know what he's doing. Kind of Strix stopped responding for a minute there. Let's get some shots on the Zin. My shots are blue, and that kind of threw me off for a little minute there. There's some shots for the Corvus. He went ahead and stunned me. There's the F. Let's chase the Genos down, I guess, as a hit for him. Tried to tap him again, but he was in his F, so he was like extra floaty. He's still dead. Zin ran up. I'm just going to keep firing into him. He popped his billow. There's some more hits. He's really low. Corvus went for the stun, but missed. I guess that is a benefit to this. It's not too easy to land, so he's not going to be doing it too consistently. There goes the Koga. I guess I'm just aiming for top objective time. I'm going to try and stick to it as best as I can. There goes the Corvus. Nice. Thank you for the free kill. There's some hits for the Koga, who's running in on no health. Hopefully the team can finish him off. The Strix has just sat there at the back. He's rocking the Switch skin, which makes me think he's probably playing on Switch. He's definitely dead. There's some hits for the Corvus again. He's lagging around a little bit here. Is he going to teleport through? Yeah, I, I guess. He's, he's going for the ult here. I'm very confused. He should be dead, though, right? There's no way he's going to live here. Okay, there we go. We've got 8k health. There's no way he's going through that much. Genos hit me with the grab. There's the F. There's a couple taps for him. I guess that's like three people. I'm just going to 
run back towards spawn. I do have the all up, which I guess we could use if we need to. The pip is hitting me with heals, which is nice. There's three of them here. I guess we can go for it. Yeah, sure. He countered my ult, which is something I didn't even know he could do. Pip went for the ult as well. We did kill the general, so it wasn't a complete waste. We'll go ahead and grab some more crones. We can actually finish it off because we've got 1500 credits. There it is in going for the ult. He hasn't got guillotine though, so he didn't insta kill me, although I might still be dead. I don't know. There's the F. There's a hit for the little tanks in here. Not tanks, they're healers. Let's see if we can finish him off. There's the QE just went ahead and grabbed me again. Strix is just kind of firing at me. Let's see if we can finish any of these guys off. I don't know if I'm going to be able to kill any of these guys. There's the F. General's ulted me at point blank range, but we're still alive. He's grabbing me again. I am dead. Took four of them to finally kill me there. There were three of them on me for ages, and they didn't get rid of me, even though I wasn't really using my abilities very well. And then we eventually died when the Zin came in to give him a hand, and the General script me for what, the third time? I don't know. We'll go ahead and get some resilience, I guess, to help that out. Seems like even after that, we are still winning score wise a little bit. Jones is going to go ahead and hit me with a grab. We'll go ahead and pop the ult. I forget how quick you gen it with. Forget how quick you gen it with Ram. I really shouldn't be holding on to it. There is a Q. We'll pop the F again. Cool. Gulver's just got a double. There's a double tap for these guys. We'll do a quick little U turn. Hit the generals again just to keep him floating and hopefully finish him off. I'm body blocking him here, just being a complete dick. He is not dead. He's on two health. There's the F, so I can tap these guys a little bit. Hit for the Zin as well. I guess the generals isn't going to get killed here, but maybe we can kill one of these guys. I feel like I'm getting absolutely battered here, but the Pip is hitting me with so many heals and I'm self healing for so much that we're somehow staying alive. That is the grip from the generals. Pip, I think, ulted there to counter. Victor got a triple. Corvus ulted as well. Zin is still alive, but that play worked out way better than I feel like it should have. There's a Q. We'll pop the F and just chase him down, I guess, a little bit. Victor is here as well. So is the Pip and the rest of the team. So he should be dead. He's got his counter up again. That Zin has got so many abilities to counter what we're trying to do to him. Charles is hitting me with the grab again. Sure, we're just going to melt him a little bit. There's a right click. I don't know what the hell just happened. I kind of slid around a little bit. Corvus is going for the ult. I'm just going to F myself out of it. There's a tap for these two dudes. I'm just going to run around and I guess go for a flank. They have managed to finally recover most of their score. It is now pretty much even. Let's see if we can get rid of this Corvus. Who's on no health? He did get healed by the generals, but he's lagging around everywhere. There's some hits for him. There's the Q. I guess we can use the F again just to get a couple free hits on people. Is he going to grab me again? No, it's on cooldown. Okay. Drop down. Try and hold the point. More shots onto the Strix because he's pretty much a free kill. I really shouldn't be focusing him because he's by far the worst person on their side. His invis is actually kind of throwing me off here because he's moving really weird. Hello, Zin. I'm just kind of getting some shots into him. There's the Q for the damage reduction and a bit of a heal. I am still dead too with that ult though because obviously I'm stood in the middle of the objective getting hit by like three people. I don't know why our team is playing so defensively, but it is a bit of a mess of a game, but there's some more shots onto him. He's just going to run away. Hello, Strix. Let's see if we can clear him. I feel like my shots are dealing freaking peanut damage here, but like even if I land all my shots, I can't finish him off. I really do need to just get more cauterized because I think that's kind of what's screwing me over. I've just dodged the general sword, but yeah, I've got damage reduction. I've got CC reduction, but I don't have cauterize. I feel like I probably should have got it going in game one faster too. I don't really know what's wrong with me and grabbing cauterize. Apparently when I'm making a ROM video, I usually do, but whatever. We are pretty much even on score right around the 300 mark. He's going into his billow. I do have the ult, but I don't really feel like I need to use it. There goes the Kogo. We have the ult. I guess we can go for it. Yeah, there we go. I guess that didn't hit anybody because he countered everything. I have no idea how that worked. Maybe the Koga dashed through me. I'm not sure. We'll go ahead and get some cauterize. I should have got that way sooner. Hello, Genos. There's some shots for you. He's going for the grab. We can nearly get rid of him here. I really wish I had more cauterize. It would make my life so much easier, but it's completely my own fault as to why I don't bloody have it. Strix is just no scoping me here at point blank range. Zin is going for the ult. So it's the Genos. I just tanked it, but I guess we can try and rush him down. Victor went for the ult, so he should be gone. Nope, because he's in his F. Okay, we're just going to stand here for a second, then we can get back on. The team did eventually finish him off. There's the Q. I feel like I'm just taking a silly amount of damage this game. I guess I am a tank, but still, I feel like I'm just absorbing a silly amount there. His three hits onto the Corvus to finish him off. We also hit the Koga a little bit. I don't think I'm going to be able to kill him here. The Strix is also behind me, I think, and so is the Genos. There we go. We should be able to kill him all. Cool. Okay, thank you, Pip. Well done with the ult. And there we go. That is the victory. Won by about 30 points, mainly because of that play right at the end there. Shout out to the team. Well done. I feel like that second game there was a bit of a mess, but hopefully it was somewhat fun to watch. Subservience did basically nothing for us, though, that entire game there. We had, what, three and a half K heals? It is very hard to recommend this talent. I was playing kind of solo. I was diving in the enemy team. I was playing the objective and stuff, but it really is just not that strong of a talent, so I can't really recommend it. Shoutouts to Low Davidson. I have no idea if I'm saying that right, and also Errol once again there. We'll go through the stats top to bottom. Pip did a great job. I did the Corvus did really well as well. So did the Victor. The BK, not so much. 37k there is really, really low. We actually had top damage on our side, obviously, because they didn't have a tank, and I was Ram, and they were kind of just shooting shots into me there. The Zin had more damage than us, and so did the Koga, but not by as much as I was kind of expecting. Their Corvus did, I guess. Fine, he was definitely trying to play as a damage there. He didn't do a great job. The Generals was a pain in the ass for me. Probably wouldn't have been if I grabbed Cauterize sooner, but yeah, he did a good job. The Zin did great as well. Strix, not so much like I said, and like you kind of saw throughout that game there, and then the Koga did pretty good as well. So yeah, there we go. That was playing Ram as a somewhat crappy healer. I don't think I can really recommend this. It is fun to play, but that's mainly just because Ram in himself is fun to play. Like I said, I think at the end of game one, in 99% of situations, I would recommend Enforcer or Earth
choice ever but if you disagree with me feel free to let me know in the comments i'd love to know your personal experience with it and also why you think it's good but yeah of course thank you for watching i hope you have enjoyed leave a like if you did i'll see you guys all very very soon and as always stay frosty frosty skin for wrong that'd be a good fit when we get one of those <laughs>